Hi loves, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. As you guys can see from the title, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a mask review of a product that I haven't tried yet. I do wanna start Mask Mondays. I kinda of had like a little Mask Monday going on before, but I wasn't super consistent. And it's only because I wash my hair different days of the week, like it's not necessarily always on a Monday. Sometimes I wash on a Saturday, so I don't have to wash my hair on a Monday, but I'm gonna to try to have these videos go up as much as possible on Monday so that, that way you guys have a new mask to look forward to or to not look forward to. Today I was minding my business aimlessly in a store, nothing new, and I bumped into a mask that kind of caught my eye only because it's a brand that I've heard of and personally never tried any of their products. They're known for their spray. They have like a miracle spray. I think it's like a 10 in one if I'm not mistaken. So the mask is called, it's a 10, the miracle mask. This is their coily mask so from my understanding I never knew they really had like a curly collection of any sort I actually did see other products in this line but I was like you know what the safest thing to try is always a mask and then go from there so this mask promises to add intense hydration helps reduce breakage provides humidity control it has a nourishing formula helps restore elasticity tames a thick coarse hair me and instantly detangles, helps control volume, it's color safe, and it's lightweight. This mask is to be left in for three to 15 minutes, then rinse thoroughly, and then for a deep treatment, add heat. So I'll probably do this with my thermal hot head because my steamer is acting kind of funny. I'm gonna see if I can get my steamer to work because if I could, I'll rather steam it in and see how it works. But for the most part, I think I'm gonna end up having to use my thermal hot head because my steamer is being a little funny. I don't know what happened to it, but I feel like I mentioned it a few videos ago where it just started to act weird. And I feel like it's not steaming to its best potential as it used to. So I don't know, I'm gonna try to figure it out and if it could work for today's video, I'll use it. But if not, we're just gonna use the thermal hot head. So my hair is, I wanna say four days old, but again, with sweating and now that summer's around the corner, I'm literally sweating all the time. So it's best for me to wash my hair at least twice a week. That's what works best for me. I know a lot of you guys are just like, oh my God, how do you even manage to do that? But it's kind of my job. <laughs> so it makes it easier when I do this for work. So doing this for work kind of helps me stay on track, which I absolutely love because I think if it was any other way and I was not doing this for work, I probably wouldn't be washing my hair twice a week because who has that type of time? But I have mastered my wash and go to like, I know what's gonna work. Like, I don't sit and try to figure out what products work anymore. And when you get to that point in your natural hair journey, it is amazing. You know this combo is gonna work, so let's go with this combo. And it just, I just love that. So, I'm probably gonna make a video about that and how important it is to have like go to combos always just laying around at home because if you know that that's gonna work, it literally cuts your wash and go in probably in half because you already know putting this product you can even put one into the shower add the gel afterwards and it just works so i love that for me so let me go ahead and hop in the shower i'm probably gonna do the application in the shower and then just do a voiceover over it because i found that when you guys let me speak through using a product it turns out to be a 20 minute video which it doesn't have to be but i just have this tendency to just want to speak <laughs> and i know a lot of you guys enjoy it but i want to get straight to the point especially if I'm talking about a mask or a product to review because that way you guys can decide whether or not you want it without having to watch 20, 30 minutes of me talking about other things amongst the mask. It's different when it comes to like a wash and go routine that I'm actually applying, you guys can see. But a mask, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory and you guys can kind of see how the product is working in my hair. Let's get right into this video. I'm already five minutes in. I'm going to share with you guys my thoughts at the end of the video and yeah, let's get right into it. Okay guys, so this is the product and it looks small, but it's pretty standard as most masks typically come with about eight fluid ounces. So what I will say right off the bat is that it is a very lightweight formula, but it's still super creamy. So upon applying, I felt the instant slip and I already knew it was gonna be a good one when it came to slip. So I was like, okay, if I don't get the moisture factor, at least I'll be able to detangle seamlessly. So one thing I normally like to do is to actually condition my hair before deep conditioning so that that way I don't use as much product. But you guys will hear my thoughts on the end on the amount that I ended up using in the video. But what I will say is I did not use a conditioner for this routine. I went ahead and just used the mask kind of to see its full potential and see if I could just use it as a standalone and not have to worry about having a conditioner beforehand. I will say it did help me detangle very easily. You guys will see how moisturized my curls look and how my curls are literally drinking up every ounce of this product. 
So I'm just working the product into my hair in sections. As you guys see, I don't know why I'm facing backwards, but it's kind of like aesthetically, like I am very intrigued by watching this. It's kind of relaxing. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and divide my hair into sections. You guys see, I'm not really too picky with sections. And I just work it into my hair and detangle it with the brush that I'm using, which is the Curl Keeper Flexi Brush. And yeah, so then I just kept it in for about, I want to say like two hours because I ended up putting it into little twists. So you guys will see that in a few. Okay, you guys, so look how cute my hair looks. I decided to twist up my deep conditioner in my hair and do a little curl training. So it's kind of starting to dry into my hair. So I'm tempted to now do a twist out. So let's just say this mask, look how pretty it's leaving my curls. Do you guys see this? It's still wet but it is starting to dry so i'm gonna start unraveling them as i tell you a little bit about the mask i know when i rinse it out it's gonna look bomb um the only thing i will say about the mask yes it feels amazing in my hair yes it has a lot of slip yes it's a fire product right but i did need to use like the whole container like the whole tub to get results like these but if we could take a moment for this this is no product this is just the deep conditioner i didn't add anything addition i didn't add like a leave-in none of that this is just the it's a 10 mask and yes i did end up using the whole thing there's like a little bit left but not enough so yeah i mean granted i could have just left it in and used this as my braid out i mean my twist out but i didn't want to like keep it in because i feel like some areas have way too much of the mask and it has like you see like the white residue so it wasn't gonna dry nice so i figured you know what let me rinse it out and do my own twist out but look at this this is so wow this is so pretty i'm excited to do a twist out now because i love the way these results look so overall, 10 out of 10, I really like the mask. My only concern is the amount that I had to use in order to feel like I had enough product in my hair. So you, I could have used less. I definitely could have used less, but I just felt like in order to make my curls feel like each of them had enough products, I had to use the amount that I used. That is just me personally. I'm sure that a brand rep for the company can come and tell me that I used too much, but it's what felt right. And clearly, Guys, this looks fake. How is this a mask? Like these results are coming from a mask? <laughs> I'm wondering if I should like try the rest of their products. Like maybe their leave-in would give me similar results for a twist out or something like that. You know what I mean? But not all of it has the residue that I'm talking about, but majority of it does. So that's why I'm rinsing it out. But I am obsessed. It's still wet too, so. But anyways, like I was saying, I felt like I had to use too much and I didn't pay a lot for it. Um, I did end up getting it through my stylist, one of my stylists that has like a plug at Cosmoprof. So I ended up paying like $10 for it, $10, $11. So it wasn't bad, but $10, $11 for one use is like, I don't know. I wonder if they have a bigger size. If they had a bigger size, then I definitely would pick it up again but just the fact that i had to use so much of it but these results i don't know they're leaving me like maybe i should be <laughs> spending that type of money because my curls are so happy right now hi guys safe to say i know when i rent it out it's gonna look fire so i'm gonna close out the video here i am gonna film another video of a twist out so stay tuned for that but like can we just take a moment with how hydrated my curls never look this flat from a mask like my curls are so happy right now yeah like i said the mask is amazing definitely recommend it if you don't have as dense hair as me definitely recommend it i think it's worth trying maybe i did use too much but like 90 percent of the product is gone 
I would pick it up again because results like these and how my curls feel right now, they feel so moisturized, it is totally worth it to me. I just need to see if maybe next time I use it, I don't use as much. Maybe if I use a conditioner beforehand, you know, because I didn't condition before deep conditioning this time. So I used it as a detangler and everything. So I used a little too much. I'm going to pick it up again. We're going to pick it up again because I loved it. Hi right, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss another video. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.